Hello everyone and welcome to How To Magic The Gathering. Last time we went through the turn orders of Magic The Gathering and the most important parts about the turn orders. If you haven't watched that video already, you should watch it. There are some very good information inside of it. Just click the card above to get to it. Now, today we'll be going through the stack. The stack is a zone where all played spells go when you play them. This uh, zone is used for reacting to spells, so when a spell goes there, the opponent can react to it. That is basically what we'll be going through today. Now, if you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe, and also comment down below what kind of uh, mechanics you would want me to go through in the future, and I'll try to get to it as fast as possible. Now, the stack, as I mentioned, is a zone where the spells go when you play them. This zone applies only to spells and activated or triggered non-mana abilities of creatures. When a spell is cast, it gets put on the stack before it takes effect. This is so that the opponent can read what the effect is and react to it if they wish. For example, if you cast a shock spell against a blue player, he can cast a cancel spell as a reaction, which counters your spell and makes it fizzle. The stack always resolves top to bottom, so the spells cast as reactions resolve first. This means that there are other very inventive ways to use the stack. Your opponent casts an enchantment or a card on one of his creatures. Well, you can cast a removal spell as a reaction and it will take effect before the enchantment or a card. This will kill the creature and the enchantment will fizzle, sending it to the graveyard before even influencing the game. If you have a good understanding of the stack, you can use it to prevent many bad situations in a game of Magic the Gathering. Plays like countering your own creatures might be a thing you need to do at some point, and with the correct understanding of the stack, you will know when this can be used. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of how the stack works in Magic the Gathering, and also how abilities and spells resolve. If you have any more information that you would want to know, just comment down below and I'll try to uh, answer them as fast as possible. And obviously if you want more tips and tricks or some more information about Magic the Gathering, Remember to like and subscribe this video and I'll keep doing them. I have been Udalad and I will see you guys next time.